what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate You're a G'day, it's DJ here, and welcome to part 16 of my Game of Thrones Let's Play. Um, so, this is gonna be the episode. This, I believe, anyway. Um, there might be a bunch of fillers, like, going to different areas, but, from the looks of the last episode, I think this is going to be the one where we have the decisive war between the White Hills and the Foresters. Um, but we're about to find out anyway, so let's jump straight into it. Um, but yeah, judging from the end of my last part yesterday, I think we we're just about to, like, it, we were just seeing the White Hill army uh, on the other side of the Forester's Wall. So I'm pretty sure that's where, where we're going to pick up from. And uh, this should be interesting to say the least. Uh, I really do hope that the foresters have got at least some fucking siege equipment or something on the walls. Something that they can fire down and try to, you know, kill a bunch of these uh, White Hills because from the looks of it, they had a lot of troops. Like, their army looked pretty fucking impressive compared to what I've seen with the foresters so far. Um, even with the pit fighters we got, missing that big dude, that big dude would have killed like fucking... A hundred guys on his own, if he hadn't been ambushed. Right there, look at that. Look at that army. Jesus. Um, even with all the pit fighters we got, if each of them kills like 10 people before they die, I, I still don't think that's enough. Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. He doesn't expect yep. us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. There he is. Shoot the fucking shoot the cunt. Oh, it's Ryan. Of course, they're gonna Ryan. use they're gonna use him as a Crossbow's hostage. up. Asher Forrester, show your face, boy. You're right here. You know, if you get all the dudes with the crossbows to shoot all these dudes here, uh, then we could just open the gates, bring Ryan in, close the gate. the needs high by my little brother. You mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. Oh. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher! Hmm. It ended the moment is he gonna let me fell. pick? By Ramsey's rules, I'm the victor here. This will um. all be mine now! One way or another. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forrester! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, father! And you're the fucking Let's fourth boy, so that makes us even, I guess. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! Hmm. It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier Shut to up. believe coming from Gwyn herself. Fucking Maester. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. Are we not going to have a battle? I will just as happily kill you all and be done with it. 
But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I brought home the body of your lord. So they're going to give us Roderick's body. Your brother was too stubborn <sighs> to know when it was over. Roderick, let me um. see him. I want to see my brother. <sighs> Surprisingly honorable gesture, Lord. Of course it was. You have an hour. Although I heard that you guys fucking like basically gutted him and shit, or at least grifted. Hate that dude. I know he's not Lot or Griff, but for some reason I just fucking hate his face. Alright, so we really don't have an army. Uh, even with the pit fighters. What did they do to Roderick? Oh man. Oh, 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 Did they cut his eyes out or were they just like closed and bloodied? I'm sorry, little brother. Either way, they fucked him up pretty good. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. That's true. The world is colder for your passing. But he did die a fucking hero. Forgive he, me, I, I just... He took out a bunch of them. Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Quinn once, but this isn't real. The Lord will have my head the moment Quinn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill <sighs> them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! Yeah. To us! Spill their blood! Believe me! I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't it have the numbers. Didn't give me an option to ride out. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, mm, but Lud is well. Separate him from his army. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone, feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Yeah, it's... Lethal and direct. It could be a, a coward's weapon, but... Either plan is a high risk. We only know um, Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. Let's do poison. I understand poison. what's at stake. But poison is the surest way to see Lord dead. Then we have a plan. Alright. Interesting. So... Whatever happens to me... Hopefully after that we finally get a fucking battle. Get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. 
You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother too. I love Beth. I won't forget this. She's I've good forgotten people. the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. <laughs> oh, he's a smart ass. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. Okay. So that's chapter three done, which means that there's still four more chapters plus the, the final chapter. They don't they say there's technically seven chapters, but after each after like the seventh chapter there's there's technically Not like the a area. little mini chapter to finish it off. So something tells me I won't be able to finish this game this episode, this part. It might mirror. might be another there part after is. this. Take her! What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester, you're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. I didn't think Morgan would, uh, Thank you for would keeping help our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? No. I was wrong though, but yeah, I just I didn't didn't think he'd be the type to uh, help us like that though. The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mera? Is there a problem? Um, someone's out to get someone's me. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Yep. Although, Andros. You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. Okay. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake. Uh, so it's not kills. Andros that's spreading exactly the rumors about us. What he deserved. Could it be no Sarah? More. I'm inclined to agree. Like we I pissed Sarah off pretty bad. Move. Maybe she started it. Of course. Now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms, the Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Working out that Andros was in league with the White Hills, you showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I still don't trust this guy. I though. knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Yeah, uh, there we Imagine go. A handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. Here we go. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard. To kill I knew him. it. Knew I didn't trust him. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. So he's the one spreading the rumors. I never should have trusted you. Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. That's why I didn't think but he would help us, because after Lud he's probably taken us to fucking Cersei or something. Control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. Oh, Jesus. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. This dude's fucking psycho. Come on, stab the cunt. Oh, you don't have a knife, but still. 
Oh, throat punch. We've arrived. Obviously not at the now river gate. My fucking litter. Oh no, maybe we are at the river gate. No? Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking I for. I guess we're not at the river that gate. you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I, I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. Your it's liar's time mouth. You answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be. Well, Mira is fucked. At least we got to throat punch that bitch. Are we gonna go back to the North Grove? Surely. Yep, yeah, there it is. Just waiting for it. Where are the whites? Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. Ah, cold it. I doubt anyone knows. I cold it. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are I'm the first sure to arrive. He wanted to come. It must have been a difficult journey. But he didn't get the chance. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. I love the way the We've learned there's a power here, Garrett. Ah, uh, the iron wood only just burns like that understand. blue color. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Oh, okay. Gregor van Fionden and Bjorn Sager van. Swearload Mopray Befastan. And I guess the whites are coming now. He's gonna get ready with his wargy powers. There's one. Oh. Well, we know that the flames kill them, so... Damn. I think we need, like, a torch in one hand and the sword in the other. Oh shit, that was way too quick. How the fuck am I supposed to press the square in, like, 0. fucking 2 seconds? Oh man, there's a lot of them. Like a lot, a lot of them. We definitely need a torch so we can start burning these cunts. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus. I don't know if the game is lagging, which I think it is, because by the time the actual thing pops up, it gives me barely any time to press the button. Well, this is not good, we've already lost a couple of people. Go polar bear. Oh shit, watch out, polar bear. 
Had to be thin, didn't it? Oh, he's strong. Even as a white. Damn. Jesus fucking Christ, eh? It's not gonna do anything to him, though. Oh, we need to plunge this into him. Now pull the sword back out. Hopefully there's uh, not many of them left, because... Yeah, I think, I think we're done. Jesus. I think we kind of earned his respect a little bit there. Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong. He was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now You're his right fault has ended. Yeah, it looks like we lost a few people, you but... You fought uh... well. For a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Yes, we can. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. You fought well yourself. Or at least you bared it. <laughs> His name is Shadow. That's a cool name. Killing them, yeah. I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll yeah, never forget well, that stench. A lot of the time they just bone though, so you you wouldn't think that bone would have a smell. Did you see what they just did? Obviously they the bodies. Yeah. My they, sister has trained them well. They do care about their own, but if they don't burn their bodies, they're gonna turn as well. So Emotion is a weakness. According to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my Fair sister's enough. doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. How did you command them? The warriors? I told you. There's a power here. I should return to the village. Fulgor and near. She uses, like, magic and blood and stuff. That one's not listening to her. Did he not hear me? Fogoren, Suna! <laughs> Holy what? shit. Wait! Fogoren by Sinir. Huh. These warriors are pretty dangerous, though. I mean, they listen, but obviously they're You're getting harder control. and harder to control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. Mm. And they can sense it. Okay, that makes sense. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more yeah. dangerous than she knows. I would too if I was her brother. She was right about one thing though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. I like that polar bear. I want a polar bear. Polar bear's a Now cute. that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. 
That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. Mm, not exactly. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North and, like, Grove can never be lost. You know, the polar bear wants us to die because of it. That polar bear would uh would smash through Lud's army. Never trust a fucking wildling. Well, that's not a good thing. Sylvie's gone. All right, so that's chapter four done. So I mean, we're getting we're getting somewhat closer to the end of this game. Um, we might be able to get five chapters done this part, or well, not like five chapters in one part. But you know what I mean? We might be able to finish chapter five, uh, and then we'll have like two or three chapters left. <laughs> the fuck? He's laughing. That's not me. It's got blood, teeth. Oh, <laughs> really? Bucket that does the shit. Bucket, a rat hole. Rats. So I mean, the final They're everywhere in King's Landing. The final part of this game might actually, instead of being like a one-hour special, it might even be a shorter episode, if anything. <gasps> oh God, oh, those are human teeth. That, yeah, they definitely are human teeth. Oh, looks fresh. Rats will eat a lot, looks but like I don't they think. Didn't make it to the block. Don't think they'll eat teeth. Mm. Oh, we've got a torch here. I think we had a fire. At least I, I can hear a fire somewhere. Is that not in here? Oh, the fire's out there. Jailer! Please! Shut it! Please come here! Fuck's this chick? Excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jayla, Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there. She and seems... you won't like what happens. Yeah, you'll what have your you teeth. You, you'll Tell have your me. teeth and blood all over Please. the floor as well. Do anything. She seems really Just fucking desperate. Uh, bastard. Like, like really fucking desperate. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. Okay, so we're basically so gonna don't die. Give me that look. All right. Well, I did see you that. You can we... leave the judgment to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son. A little baby boy. Hmm. That's sad. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Yeah, basically any mother ever. That's what getting out of here means to me. Fair call. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family do needs to survive. You. Nothing else matters. Yep. I do whatever it takes to survive. You've done everything you could for your family anyway, whatever Mira. Whatever it takes. You've lied, you've cheated, cheated, you've stolen. Oh, this my fucking Lord, please. Morgan. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already. Damn, I was gonna try and pry the bar like it said I could, but be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. 
Oh, can we smash, smash his head in with that torch? That we grabbed? Hopefully. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No. No. Oh, damn, poor chick. Please! Wait, wait! No! So what does this dude want? Shut your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Enough! I've come to talk. Thought you changed your mind. Did you realize I've that Forrest is... An offer. Forrest is the only one that can actually I work with Ironwood. about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Which would be? Your name. I want you as my wife. Oh, he wants to marry us? Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath. And you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forrester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> Actually, one way or another. And no, it no, take no, it is two brothers. To I think. The what? Fool Roderick and Ethan. I'm sorry, Mira. Yeah. None of yeah, your no, family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you, and through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together, as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. It's uh, <laughs> that's an amusing thought. Let's trick him a but little bit. But not what I had in mind. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. So basically, he wants to marry us, but you keep us in a cell. Keep me locked up. Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. Ooh. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. Do we have to pick? So, Mira, what do you say? Because I can't do that to the call boy. I can't even remember his name, to be honest, but I think it was Tom. You will never. But after everything he did for us, he hid a body. You will never have me. What? You saved us. Fool. I'd rather die. Yep. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the cowboy like that. Fine. Have it your way. Plus, it pisses him off more because he doesn't get the Forester name and proper Ironwood. Take that, you little bitch. If Mira dies, so be it. It was worth it to sort of give that she dude one far. final fuck you. Not out here. No, oh, they found her. He's my brother. I, I wasn't finished. <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. 
I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Hmm. I wonder Which if she's why like. To do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain. I wonder but... if she's using blood magic on him. That's when they found to try and, me. Try and turn him into a warrior. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. Hmm. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. Okay, you can trust me. I will. You can trust me. I'll do Although, the right thing. I'm not sure if I'm Thank actually you, going to Garrett. do it. I want to see what He's they're doing so to him first. Pain. Jesus. My dog farted and it's like, oh, it's suffocating. Bet you she's like turning him into one of these warriors or something. This looks pretty fucking blood magic ritually like to me. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. Yeah. <coughs> That's the point. <coughs> oh man, that wound. That went necrotic. Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? Jesus. I want to see her. Where is she? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Okay. Cotter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. Let's give him the uh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Cotter's a fighter. Yeah. Always has been. <laughs> I He's also been a thief that. as well, but let's but give him the nightshade. Now he can use his death to give his life meaning. How so? This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my okay. father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. So what's it do? You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. How yeah, so? Give me his heart. His beating heart. What? And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But we must do this, Garrett. So I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Did Gregor actually know Can't you do it yourself? about this kind of blood magic Not and alone. shit? I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. If this will help the warriors, for the North like if this will help her get more control over them. I'm ready. Garrett. 
Man. Take any longer. It's one Jesus. hell of a choice. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. You know what? Give him that poison. And Normally, I would choose the uh, the poison and be all. You're strength. my friend, but right now, I'm gonna turn into an I'll asshole. The North I think I, I feel at the start of this I game, I tried I to be honorable. And then towards the end, I've turned evil. Like, I, I lied about Sarah with Mira and turned her into, like, a fucking bitch. And, and now I'm going to do the same with Garrod. Zip! Seven hells. Seven hells in the right. heart. Quickly, while his blood still pulses through it. Uh, if you're squeamish, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say look away, but yeah, I'd, I'd still look away. Damn. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. I'm guessing I have to While it's still warm. hold X again. Probably. Yep. Squeeze. Right uh, now, what? Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Sylvie's gonna fucking hate us if she finds out. Now we must burn the body. If we burn it, uh, she might not find out. We can just tell her that we, we poisoned him, gave him poison then and burned him so he didn't turn into a white. Alright, so that's chapter 5 done. Done and dusted. Alright, so that's going to be it. Basically we have chapter 6, chapter 7, and then the final ending chapter, which I still would class as 8, but they, they only name it 7 and then the final chapter. Um... So, that's only three chapters. We did three, four, five. Oh no, we did we did three today as well. So tomorrow's episode. Oh, actually no, tomorrow is no, no, no. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I, I might be doing an, ep an episode tomorrow apart. Um, so yeah, if I do one tomorrow, that'll definitely be the final. It might either be early, like a, it might be a smaller episode. It might be the same size, or it could be longer. I don't know. It depends on how long these last few chapters are but uh either way it's going to be one more part to this gameplay uh and then yeah we'll see how this uh how this game ends really um see if the forest is prevail or not but yeah until then goodbye for now you are a pirate.